instructions for preparing the personal protection kit for babies and children for use in an emergency. The Mamtak Personal Protection Kit is intended for babies and children up to the age of eight, and it is important to assemble it now so that it is ready for use when needed. First, open the box and take out all the parts. The kit contains a protective mask, feed system, sealed filter, respiratory safety shield, belt, and waste pouch for the blower and an instruction book. Take the filter and remove the cap by pulling the tab. Now you can remove the cover by turning it anti-clockwise. Throw away the cap and cover. Please note, removal of the cover and cap is essential for the filter to work. Do not close the filter that has been opened. Take the green respiratory safety shield and push it into the air intake opening of the mask until you hear a click. Screw the filter into the screw aperture on the front of the blower. Make sure that the filter is screwed in firmly. Pull off the safety cap covering the on-off switch in order to test that the blower is working. After testing, put the cap back in place on the blower. Turn the blower on by pressing the red button. This is located near the filter. There are a number of signs indicating that the blower is working. Put your hand near the yellow screw aperture until you feel a slight breeze. Make sure that the red indicator light is on. Check that you can hear a slight hum. When you hold the blower, you will feel it vibrating. After testing, turn off the blower. The off switch is on the rear of the blower. Take the mask and screw the air intake hose into the protruding screw aperture on the blower, making sure it is firmly closed. After testing, replace the safety cap on the blower. This kit has two feeding options. For babies, drinking from a nipple, and for children, drinking through a straw. All the components of the feeding system should be taken apart for washing. Pick up the mask and pull the cover off the feeding system. Screw out the blue assembly. Open the zipper. Put your hand into the mask and unscrew the nipple assembly. Open the bottle, remove the clear tube, and wash all the components. For drinking through the nipple, screw in the thread of the feeding system, and then screw the nipple thread back in place. Close the cover of the feeding system until use. When drinking through the nipple, transparent tube in the bottle is not required. Keep it in the box. Now the Mamtak is ready for your baby to wear. For drinking through a straw, screw the feeding system thread back in place and close the cover until use. In addition, connect the transparent tube to the bottle cap. Keep the nipple in the box. Now the mom tuck is ready for your child to wear. Put on your mom tuck only when expressly instructed to do so via the media. You must activate the blower before putting on the mom tuck. Make sure that the filter is not obstructed by clothing or in any other way. Lay the baby down on a flat surface. Remove the black safety cap from the blower and keep it in the box. Turn on the blower by pressing the red on-off switch before you put on the mask and put the working blower down beside the baby. Pay attention. The air intake aperture of the blower must not be obstructed. Open the zipper on the back of the head covering. If the baby needs a pacifier, open the press button opening in the head covering of the mom tuck. Put the pacifier inside and then close it again. 
before putting the mask over the baby's head, make sure that the blower is working. Put the MomTac head covering over the baby's head and make sure that the gray neck adjustment is in the area of the baby's neck. Arrange the head covering. Make sure that the right edge is lying underneath the left edge. Grasp the cord at the end of the zipper and close it gently. Straighten up the edges of the MomTac head covering. At this stage, the baby is already protected. Pay attention. Make sure the respiratory safety shield is not obstructed by clothing or in any other way. There must be free flow of air at all times. When the baby is lying down, the blower should be lying next to him. The pouch should only be used in these two situations, stable walking or if the child is carried by a parent. With regard to a child who is not yet stable, lay the back pouch on a flat surface Open the buckle and spread the straps out to the sides. Lay the baby down on the pouch with his head on the gray pad and put his arms through the straps over the edges of the MomTac head covering. Fasten the buckle and adjust the pouch to the baby by pulling the ends of the yellow straps. If the pouch does not fit closely enough to the baby's back, pull the straps in the waist area from the side panels of the carrier towards the buckle and tighten it again by pulling the ends of the yellow straps. After tightening, attach the blower to the pouch, threading the yellow clip on the back of the blower into the opening in the back pouch. Please note, make sure that the respiratory safety shield is not obstructed by clothing or in any other way. Air must flow freely at all times. Using the drinking system, open the cover of the feeding system in the mask and screw the bottle into the straw thread. Move the bottle from side to side to bring the nipple up to the baby's mouth. Avoid carbonated drinks and juices containing fruit. When the baby has finished eating or drinking, unscrew the bottle. Close the feeding system with its cover and screw the top back onto the bottle. Remember, do not turn off the blower until you have taken the mask off the baby's head. At all stages, help can be found in the instruction book included in the kit. Put on the MomTuck only when expressly instructed to do so via the media. You must activate the blower before putting on the MomTuck. The filter must not be covered by clothing or in any other way. Gather up the child's hair and keep it away from the eyes. Before putting on the mask, remove the safety cap and turn on the blower by pressing the red switch. Keep the safety cap in the box. Make sure that the blower is working. The control light is on, there is a faint hum, and the blower is vibrating slightly. Let the child hold the blower when it is working. Open the zipper on the back of the head covering. Place the head covering of the mumtak over the child's head while he is facing towards you. Put his chin in first. Turn the child around and gently zip up the zipper using the cord. As you do it up, pull the head covering away from the child's head by pulling it out slightly. Arrange the edges of the head covering around the child's neck and shoulders. At this stage, the child is already protected. Pay attention. Make sure that the respiratory safety shield is not obstructed by clothing or in any other way. Air must flow freely at all times. There are two possible ways of carrying the blower. First, it can be attached to the belt at the waist. Adjust the belt to the child's waist. Make sure that the waist pouch for the blower is on the child's right side. Attach the blower to the belt by threading the yellow clip on the blower through the opening in the waist pouch. The other option for carrying the blower is on the back using a back pouch. Open the buckle and release the straps. Place the back pouch on the child's back using the shoulder straps, like a backpack. Make sure that the straps are lying over the edges of the head covering. Fasten the buckle and adjust the position of the pouch by pulling the ends of the yellow straps. Tighten the waist straps from the side panels of the pouch towards the buckle and tighten again using the ends of the yellow straps. After tightening, attach the blower to the pouch by threading the yellow clip on the back of the blower through the opening in the back pouch. Using the drinking system. Open the cover of the drinking system in the mask and screw the bottle into the straw thread. Bring the straw up to the child's mouth. 
avoid carbonated drinks and juice containing fruit. After drinking, unscrew the bottle, close the feeding system with the cap, and screw the top back onto the bottle. Remember, do not turn off the blower until you have taken the mask off the child's head. At all stages, help can be found in the instruction booklet included in the kit. Following the instructions carefully saves lives. It is absolutely forbidden to use the atropine syringe that is in the kit. Use of the syringe could endanger your life. Following the instructions carefully saves lives.